What is up you guys, it's Kavar here and I'm back with another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do these juicy two strand twists on myself. Um, to get started, my hair texture is 4C and that means I have the tightest curl texture possible. I experience a lot of shrinkage after I wash. So I'm just going to pre-stretch my hair. I'm going to be using the BioSilk um, heat protecting oil and I'm just going to be rubbing that throughout my hair. And I also like to mix it with the Argan Oil Heat Protector just because it does have more product in there. And I do get a pretty good distribution with that as well. Once the heat protectant is fully distributed in my hair, I'm going to be using a hot comb to stretch my hair out. And I'm just going to set that to the lowest setting. And the brand that this hot comb is from is from Andis. And I'm just going to be taking little tiny sections of my hair and I'm just going to comb it through doing just a couple passes lightly tapping it into the hair until my hair is stretched out completely. Once my hair is completely stretched out, I'm going to be using a thin comb just to comb everything up. And by the way guys, I am on a hair growth journey and this is what my hair is looking like at 6 months. My hair was pretty short, almost as short as the fade that I did on myself. So yeah, my hair is really really long. I would recommend pre-stretching your hair before doing this just to get the maximum length that you possibly can with your hair and also just makes it a lot easier when you're sectioning your hair. So to section my hair, I'm going to be using the Shine Jam Gel. Uh, I didn't put the sectioning in the video just because it was really time consuming, um, but I have a total of 25 sections in my hair. Once your hair is sectioned, you want to take the shine jam and just take a little bit on your finger, rub them together, and then you're going to rub lightly over the sectioned piece. Um, you want to do this just to give the hair a little bit of hold as you wrap it. After that, I'm going to be taking some wrapping foam and I'm just going to be dabbing that really lightly into the hair as well. This is really good, a really good product just because it gives me a lot of shine. And as I'm twisting it, what you will be able to notice is that I'm also coiling the hair as I twist it around. What this does is help the hair strands um, be a little bit stronger as you twist them around each other and give them a better hold so that they last a lot longer. When coiling the hair, I like to also pull the hair really taut just to give my squares a lot more definition and I like to wrap it with my fingers up to about four times before I twist it over.
Now once everything is completely twisted, this is what it's looking like. As you can see, the curls are looking really nice and juicy. To finish everything off, I'm going to be going back in with that foaming wrap and I'm going to be distributing it throughout the hair completely. This foaming wrap is basically going to hold everything in place, make sure there's no flyaways, and also make sure that I have really nice shine after I wrap it later. Once my hair is completely saturated, I'm going to be going in with my do-rag and I'm just going to gently place that on top of my head and I'm just going to lightly wrap my hair just to keep the hair down as you can see it's sticking up and we want it to be a lot more flat. Now after a few hours, I'm going to be taking the do-rag off and you could also sleep with it on for the night, that works too. And this is what the hair is looking like. As you can see, the curls are really nice and juicy. The twists, I mean, are really nice and juicy. It looks really good and I like it. It's a really good protective style to have. And uh, yeah, that's everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. I'm also going to show you guys what my hair is looking like in the next clip, two weeks after wash day. And everything is holding up really nicely. So anyway guys, take care.